Hey everyone, I'm Pearl and welcome to Journey to Home Sweet Home. Today I'm going to be participating in the Wombox Challenge hosted by Rachel from the Sweet and Simple Home. She puts on this challenge every season. It's a great challenge um, to just think about the things that you want to get rid of. So I'll link her channel down below. You can check her out. She does a lot of mom and home and lifestyle videos. Also there'll be a playlist link down below for all the other participants in this wonderful challenge. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to show you the box that I filled. And in this challenge, we were to take any size box, it could be big, could be small, it doesn't matter, and fill it up with things that you will be getting rid of um, from your house. So things you no longer love, use, or need. And so that's what I've done. I have been going through the KonMari method. It is taking me a while, but I am still going through it. However, this stuff in the box is not really me going through the KonMari method. This is just um, stuff that I had put aside for donating already or it's stuff that I just went around the house looking for knowing that I would be doing this challenge. So I am going to now show you what I'm getting rid of. Okay, so here is the box of stuff that I'm getting rid of. It's a big Rubbermaid tote and inside you can see all the things. So I will show you what they are individually now. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to get rid of is my youngest daughter's bike helmet. She has outgrown this, but it is still in pretty good condition. Okay, then I'm going to get rid of the kids, uh, my son's water bottle. It does not um, work very well. It leaks, so we're getting rid of that. Also getting rid of this water bottle that uh, my youngest daughter no longer uses. Okay. And then I'm getting rid of this chore chart by Melissa and Doug. Um, it's really nice wooden chore chart. However, it worked for when they were really little, but now that they're older, um, there are just more things to do. And I find sometimes the chores are not there like they're missing this now they do have a second one so I am keeping that one for now just because just until I set up my uh, other system um, and that is mainly so that my younger one can follow it um, so that she has some kind of framework okay, then I am getting rid of these Christmas bulbs. You can see one of them is broken, so I'm going to be throwing that away. These are glass Christmas bulbs. Yes. Since I've had my son, my first one, I haven't been putting these up on the Christmas tree because they are glass and so breakable and just very dangerous for kids. So I am getting rid of this, okay. and then I have another set. So these are the teardrop set. Okay, next I am getting rid of this saucepan or this pot um it's kind of a medium size and i'm getting rid of it because if you can see here the lip the bottom is coming off and this isn't too looking too bad right now but when it heats up on the stove it really separates and it really freaks me out because i think that you know it's gonna explode or something so I'm getting rid of this pot okay this one same thing the bottom is sort of coming off it doesn't look too bad now but again when you heat it up it does that this is a very small saucepan I did burn this pot so this pot is going next I have a few um, kids toys so this was um, like a talking book you move the characters to kind of activate the story my kids have long passed this, even my youngest. Then I also have this uh, Leaf Frog, Leaf Phonics Library. This was really good. If you guys are, you know, have kids that are learning their letter sounds right now. Okay, next I also have a Leaf Frog. Now that one that I just showed you was donated to me, um, but I had already had this one. And if you put it in the writing mode, which is the first mode, you can draw the, um, the shapes and I believe and then the ABCs are the uppercase so you learn to trace uh, you know they'll have dots on the screen um, making the letter and you trace the letter and when you're done you know you just do this and erase it and 
you then they had the lowercase here and then they had like squiggles and lines that you could uh, trace so really good for um, fine motor skills and learning to draw learning to to write I believe I bought it when my son like for my son when he was learning to write and it just lasted through the three kids then next I also have another one of those books this is more of a girl's one but next I went around the house I found this in my um, closet where I keep all my extra products and um, I just thought to check the expiry date so what I did was when I got these I just went ahead and wrote the expiry date and it's November 15, 2015, sorry. And I don't know why I was holding on to these. I think I just forgot that I had them. And when I do check the ex individual expiry dates, they are November 15. So I am getting rid of that. Um, then I also found the another flavor. Uh, this was expired March 2016, which is last, the previous year. I don't know why I was keeping on holding on to that too. So now you guys can see why I am. I need to really declutter. Then I have just a few like of these little shapes. These had belonged to a shape sorter that I gave away already, um, and I couldn't. I guess I couldn't. These were lying around somewhere and I didn't know. So I'm just going to donate them, and you know. I guess they can, I don't know, some of them might have a use for it. Okay, then I also found this leapfrog. They also had a leapfrog reader, and this was one of the cartridges. Now, we don't have any of the books or anything like that, but I'm still going to donate this because maybe, um, you know, someone might have the actual reader and want to listen to the story. Okay, then I'm just getting rid of a few other things like my girls, my youngest pajamas. So she's outgrown these, these are size four and she has just outgrown them. This is the pants to that. They're really cute and both my girls wore them but now it's time to move on from them. Um, and they're basically all Disney. So this is the top for that one. Uh, another Disney princess and the pants to go with it and then another pant now I think I'd given the top away a long time ago because it was short and fit but the pants happened to be long so we kept it and we've been wearing it you know just mixing matching it with her other PJs so I am now going to show you the things that cannot fit in this box but I am getting rid of them either by selling them or just um, donating them so I'm going to show you that right now okay yeah, so we are also getting rid of this safety first air car seat okay then we have this scooter and it is something that was donated to us mm -hmm. this is the radio flyer tricycle this was donated to us and this the girls really did use this a lot I wasn't given this for my son I was given it for my second child which is my daughter and um, she used it and then my third child used it as well what I really like is that these handles work really really well at turning the wheel okay guys another bicycle so this was my daughter's as well this does come with training wheels we took them off for her to ride but she's just getting small for this this week okay guys so the last thing i'll be getting rid of is this i believe shoe rack the person who gave it to me was using it as a, as a shoe okay, rack guys, so that is everything i hope that you guys enjoyed seeing what i'm getting rid of and it motivates you to get rid of your things that you're not using maybe even something like that expired toothpaste that's been hanging around for like three years now yeah three years or two years in the other case um, just go through your stuff and get rid of them and you know your house will be that much lighter and you'll feel better and you'll have more room for the stuff that you love and give you joy and I firmly believe that decluttering and organizing is plays a big role in finding joy in your family life and your life and leads you to the things that 
you want out of life. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Please check out Rachel's channel. I think you're going to love it. And check out the playlist down below. I will link that as well. Thank you so much for being here. Please go ahead and subscribe if you want any more decluttering videos, um, DIY videos. I do a lot of DIYs as well. I do recipe videos, anything to do with home, life, and family. So take care, guys, and I will catch you in the next one.